Hello out there to the Wallace family. Today is Friday, February 14th. It's Valentine's Day, and yes, we did not have school today. We had a exciting, jam-packed Teacher Institute day. Our teachers here at Wallace took part in a growth mindset workshop, really focusing on, on how we approach our day and how we can uh, have a positive effect in, uh, on our students. It was a great day, had a lot of great information shared with our staff, and super excited to see returning next week. So this past week was a very busy week. We had Valentine's Day parties yesterday. Um, lots of candy, lots of excitement. Kids were uh, really fired up. Um, so no school today, like I mentioned. And there's also no school this coming Monday on February the 17th. It is uh, President's Day. So it's four day weekend for our kiddos. Um, so Monday, like I said, no school. Tuesday is a 2.30 dismissal, like always. That's uh, for professional development um, for our staff. Also on Tuesday, uh, tuition preschool sign up for new students kicks off on Tuesday. So if you are going to be signing up a new three or four year old preschool student for our tuition preschool program, uh, you can start dropping off paperwork and um, registration supply fees. Uh, that will start at 7.30 on Tuesday morning. You can stop in the office. Uh, remember, it's a first, first come, first serve basis. So if you want priority on what session you might get into, you're going to want to make sure you get in early. Um, we don't anticipate not having spots for everybody. We think we'll have plenty of spots for everybody. But again, preference for AM versus PM sessions um, might come into play. So you want to get that in there. And just a reminder... Also, along with the registration paperwork, which can be found on our website, you also have to pay the $50 fee um, to reserve your spot as well. So remember, you got to have both of those, paperwork and the fee. Also on Tuesday, let's see, we do have open house for tuition preschool. Um, that's at 4.30 to 6 o'clock in the evening. And then also 8th grade will be at the conference tournament at Tonica. Their game is at 6 o'clock. Tentatively right now, their bus is going to leave at 5 o'clock, but we have to see how 7th grade does uh, in their portion of that tournament. So that bus time may change. We'll see. Coach will make sure everybody is aware. Moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to be getting geared up for our science fair. So science fair setup for any kids that are going to be participating. You can bring those projects and everything in the evening on Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So you can bring in all your projects, uh, get everything set up that evening. Moving on to Thursday. Thursday's a very, very busy day at school. So we have the science fair going on and in the morning, projects are gonna be getting judged. In the afternoon, projects are gonna be on display for uh, teachers and staff and students to check out. And then the science fair will also be um, open to the public in the evening. And that is from six to seven o'clock. So. We hope lots of parents and community will come out to check out those wonderful science projects that those kiddos have been doing. Uh, and I know I've talked with many kids and, and there's some really cool, interesting stuff going on. So hopefully everybody gets a chance to check that out. Also on Thursday, we have two students, two eighth grade students that are gonna be recognized uh, by the Illinois Principals Association. Those students are gonna be receiving what's called the John Orth Student Excellence Award. Um, John Orth was a principal, <clears throat> very well known throughout the state, um, and in his memory, um, we present uh, the award to the top male and female student of the graduating class. We recognize them with this award, and our recipients will be Lane Krug and Tagon Um. So congratulations to them. They'll be going to a recognition breakfast at Streeter High School next Thursday. Um, so we're excited about that. <clears throat> Let's see. Then Friday, our Stars and Rising Stars students are out on another community outing. They're gonna be going to the Roxy Theater in Ottawa. That'll be a really fun experience for those kiddos. Also on Friday, our band students will be headed to see the Illinois Valley Symphony Orchestra. That performance will be at Ottawa High School. So they're gonna be headed there in the morning. That's fun for them. And then Friday afternoon, um, a fundraising effort by our student council. They're going to be having a half-court shot assembly. So I believe we have about 30 kids that signed up to participate. Uh, they're going to be 
uh, challenged with making as many half court shots as they can and the winner takes home a big prize so that'll be in the uh, at the end of the day on Friday and also our kindergartners are gonna have a waddle the world with Paul event parents are gonna be invited in for that parents would have gotten a letter home from the teacher with details so that will be Friday afternoon as well I, I believe it starts at 240 so excited for our parents to come in for that and then next Saturday 7th and 8th grade volleyball is at the conference shootout at Mars Sales and we will be hosting here at Wallace <clears throat> the Just Solve It academic team tournament. So that'll be an exciting day of uh, act academic scholastic bowl action. So if you're bored, come on out. That's the events really coming up this coming week. Uh, a few other things to mention. If you haven't already seen, yeah, here we go, the Principal Podcast podcast I host along with guests um, from throughout the school and community. We talk about different relevant um, topics in education. It's a way of just getting information out to parents, getting you involved in the education process, the things going on at school. So if you have a long drive somewhere, if you like to listen to podcasts, check it out. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Store, uh, anywhere. Anywhere and everywhere you can find podcasts. It's called The Principal Podcast. So check it out. Also, just putting this out there, this flyer hasn't gone home yet and it hasn't been posted online yet. It will be going home in the next couple weeks, but we have our grandparents and VIP continental breakfast event uh, is gonna be coming up and that's gonna be March 31st, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So four consecutive mornings um, and it's kind of split up by grade level of who comes which day and all that information will be on this flyer. We'll get that out there hopefully online uh, pretty soon and then it'll be coming home in a couple weeks but that event is actually usually held in the fall time uh, pretty close to Halloween and we kind of made the decision this year with Halloween we had a lot of stuff going on so we push it off to the springtime so we're gonna be inviting those grandparents in because they do have such a huge positive impact on our kiddos and we want to invite them in and celebrate and in conjunction we will have a book fair put on by Prairie Fox Books uh, here from downtown Ottawa. So that'll be an exciting event. You'll get more information in the future. Also, don't forget, in conjunction with our science fair, we do have the Scholastic Book Fair in the library this week. So if you come on out for the science fair, make sure you check out that book fair. I did mention preschool tuition open house is this coming Tuesday, 4.30 to 6. Flyers out there, check it out online, all that good stuff. Another reminder, 8th grade is collecting box tops in their efforts to raise money uh, for their trip to Washington, D.C. So if you do have box tops, uh, this note is actually online on social media, Facebook and Twitter, and we, we sent a copy home. But you can actually download the app and you can just scan box tops. Holy cow, that's way easier than cutting them out and sending them in. So you can just scan it right with your phone and it uploads and it counts towards the school. So, if you're not already doing that, please do so to support our 8th graders. And also, don't forget the Plunge Into Fitness Challenge with Raging Waves that Mr. Allen's doing. Make sure you're filling out those activity calendars for those kiddos uh, so they can get those tickets to the water park. Once it starts getting warm, I'm sure they're going to be dying to get there. That's really all I got for now. Uh, it's a long weekend. I know the faculty, staff, teachers, everybody here, we are ready for the long weekend. To wind down and relax a little bit. I'm sure parents and kids feel the same way. Hasn't been a bad winter, but it sure has been a long one. We're ready for warm weather. So, like always, if you need any information, want to know what's going on, check out the calendar. Check it out on our website, wallacegs.org. We're on Facebook and Twitter, at Ottawa Wallace. And as always, if you need anything, have any questions, please feel free to give us a call in the school office. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.